Are you feeling okay? Of course, dear. Why do you ask? I don't know. You just seem a little darker than usual today. Is it the new lights I had put in? I told the contractor that they'd cast way too many shadows in here. No, Mom, it's not that. Are you upset because what I'm planning to do? My dearest daughter, no, I'm not upset. In fact, I thought I'd never be more proud than when you won the Village Science Fair a couple of weeks ago. But here you are, making me proud yet again. 29 days later. I'm glad you feel that way. Well, I'm off to go save the village from the monster attack. Sure you aren't forgetting anything. Don't worry, Mom. I'm prepared. Fed up with being told that a girl can't fight, be a leader, or make a difference, my daughter determined to prove the world wrong. Armed with her intellect and the bag of inventions, she... Mom! <sighs> Mom, are you narrating out loud again? Um... No. When I save the day, we're really going to have to look into that. Bye, Mom. Love you. Armed with her intellect and bag of inventions, she will embark on the greatest tale of adventure that this land will ever see. important errand to run before I make it to the village. I hope this detour won't cause too much of a delay. Huh? You might as well turn around. You can't get past us. Not without solving a few riddles, maybe a joke or two. You guys are with the militia? Why aren't you fighting the monster? Because we're deserters? What does it look like? This new monster's a nasty one. My buddy and I ran off to write a joke book together. Now, do you want to get past or not? Fine, I'll solve your stupid riddles then. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? No, good one, buddy. <laughs> <sighs> a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Damn! How about this one? Why did the rubber chicken cross the road? So she could stretch her legs. What did the tin man say when he got ran over by a steamroller? Curses! Foils again! Why did the archaeologist go bankrupt? because his career was in ruins. I didn't think she'd get that one. Archaeology and tomb raiding are both small hobbies of mine. Small hobbies? Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Next stop, Mount Danzabar. Mount Danzabar? Are you crazy? That's dragon territory. Laser breathing dragon territory. Should we save her? Psh, hell no. You kidding? With the riddles and jokes behind her, she ventured deeper into the forest. What the? The next leg of her detour, however, will be a true test indeed. For the beast that lurks atop Mount Danzabar cannot be bargained with. Where did she come from? Hello? Ma'am, are, are you lost? Mount Danzabar looks so much smaller from a distance. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Whew, wow, it's hot up here. Now where's the dragon? Dragon? Where are you? I know you're here. Show yourself. Don't tell me I climbed this big rock for nothing. Come out, dragon. Wasting my time. Give me one reason why I shouldn't make a meal of you, little girl. Dragon, you're here. I need your help. Uh, what? I noticed ever since the monsters got here, you were one of the biggest and fiercest monsters that never attacked a single village. So I figured maybe you like people. Actually, um. I'm kind of anti-social, 
I don't really get out that much these days. Agoraphobia? I don't think that's it. Well, I was hoping to strike a deal with you. You see, on a recent expedition, I came into possession of the Sword of Valor. It is the only sword that can slay a dragon. How dare you bring such a weapon to my home? Relax, dragon. Consider it a gift. You have nothing to fear of the outdoors anymore. Thanks to me, of course. Now, can you do me a solid and help me fight off the monster? Nah, sorry. I'm busy later. What? You're just going to lay in your lava pool all day, aren't you? You're on your own, kid. Thanks for the sword, though. Well, can you at least give me a ride to the village? Nope. I can call you a new bear. Don't bother. I'll call one myself. <sighs> Unable to seek a crucial alliance, my daughter leaves for the village with her head hanging low. Oh, uh, yeah, you get out of here, too. Faster! Must go faster! Get to the village as fast as you can, Bear! Oh no! Are we too late? my mommy and daddy when the monster came. I can't find them. Do you know where the monster is? Why? So I can kill it, of course. Kill it? With what? Why so many questions? Fine. With my newest invention. Why does that box have a kitchen timer on it? Why a magnifying glass? And a... Quiet, kid! And feast your eyes on my flash laser! That's impending. I base a design on the laser breathing dragon. This monster is toast. Good, because it's right behind you. Not so fast, monster! Yippee ki yay, mother! What? What's wrong? Bubbles? Uh, did you bring the wrong invention? Oh crap, wrong book bag! We're stuck, we're going to die! It wasn't supposed to be this way! Hey, you Dragon. Thank you. I should be thanking you, kid. Aw, oh, shucks. Say, do you need a ride home? A ride? Home? Yeah! Dragon! It's even more beautiful than I thought! <laughs> And then she flew into the sunset with her new friend. The end. She does.